Today I'm going to share with you one of Paramahansa Yogananda's healing prayer techniques. This particular one is simple but deep and can be taken to a profound level. In, my name is Mary Kretzman. I'm the director of the Ananda Healing Prayer Ministry. I've been doing that for the past 20 years and I've been uh, following his teachings for over 30 years now. So I can attest that these techniques are deep and powerful. This prayer that I'm going to teach you today in, invokes the healing presence of Divine Mother to flow through us as a healing energy and then sending it out through the power of Om to bless the person in body, mind, and soul. This healing prayer technique is universal, it's non-denominational, but in it, it very much requires your devotion to call on the healing prayer energy of Divine Mother. You can think of Divine Mother in a universal way or in a personal way, whichever best suits your spiritual temperament. To prepare for the technique, you would want to pray or meditate in your best way or calm yourself in a quiet spot of your home, feel God's presence, and then invoke that presence more fully in order to send it through the prayer. This prayer technique is, is simple and short enough that you could use it every day to bless your family members at a distance, or if there's someone in your family who has need. For instance, uh, years ago, we were praying for a family member who was having trouble with alcohol. And my husband simply did this prayer technique every morning for over the period of two years to give her strength in that struggle. At the end of those two years, we, she had become a devotee. She was meditating two hours a day and her life had completely changed. Think of this prayer as a way to send a loving, healing prayer energy as a blessing each day that helps the person become stronger in their own higher self. So I'm going to demonstrate it right now the way a parent might use it. My youngest son is about to go off to college. His name is David, so I'll demonstrate it the way a parent could do it. You could do this prayer silently or aloud. I'm going to demonstrate this prayer now and later on we'll have a chance to do the prayer together where you can insert the names of your own family member. But right now, just so you see how it's done, I'll, I'll demonstrate the prayer. So I would lovingly think of the presence of Divine Mother, and then I'll say, Divine Mother, Thou art omnipresent. Thou art in all Thy children. Thou art in David. Manifest Thy healing presence in His body, mind, and soul. Oh 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 So as you can see this prayer is simple but deep. Uh, normally, you will feel a healing energy flowing through you, especially after you've practiced it for some time. So you'd want to linger with the hands up like this, just silently sending the energy. Um, I did feel that energy through the sending of Om and then in that lingering moment. So I would normally have held up my hands longer than I did. In the beginning though, you can simply send those Ohms and come consider the prayer complete. We did a study with this many years ago using biofeedback. The, we had here at Ananda Village in Nevada City, California, we had a group of our experienced prayer practitioners praying exactly this prayer. And then it was time coordinated with a research lab in Colorado where they had people attached to a little um, electrodes at the heart center the spiritual eye and certain points on the spine to detect if there was an increase of energy. The people with that were in the experiment thought they were being tested simply for the effects of spiritual music on them. So they had spiritual music playing in the lab. Then we would call exactly when we we're going to pray for that person. So it's exactly time coordinated. We found that when we had experienced prayer practitioners praying this technique, you could see a spike of energy at each of those three ohms, as I just uh, mentioned to you. Uh, 
this is very important. Now, when we had a group of inexperienced people praying, that spike was not as pronounced. So it, your, over time, you will become more attuned to calling that holy healing energy through you and being able to send it. Practice increases your ability. Now, let me explain this prayer technique a little more deeply and some of the things that are happening internally, externally. I'll go through it line by line. Uh, first, uh, e just even holding the hands like this is considered a mudra. When we have measured the aura, we found simply when people put their hands in front of their heart center in this prayer mode, their aura tended to quadruple in size. Likewise, it's pushing the energy up the spine towards the spiritual eye, or the point between the eyebrows. It's a point of spiritual aspiration to call to God. So when I'm thinking of Divine Mother, this, through this prayer technique, it's my natural love of the heart rising up to this point and then calling to the Universal Divine Mother. as In that first line, Divine Mother, Thou art omnipresent. Well, Divine Mother knows that we are reminding ourselves that her presence is everywhere and can come to assist us at this time. Then the second line is, is so, Thou art in all thy children. Again, she knows that. It reminds us as we get into the deeper affirmative levels of the prayer. Then it's thou art in the person in need. Again, it's to bring our mind closely to that fact because when we're praying for someone, we often are so worried about the illness, we forget that God's presence and power is there and we can call on that power to help the person. So that's where the next line comes in. Manifest thy healing presence in his body, mind. And soul. So that's the meaning there. And then, of course, then we're rubbing the hands together because it generates some of this healing energy in the body. And then we hold up the hands to then send it through the body. I'll explain this more deeply. An important part of this also is that the hands are connected to the heart center. And it becomes a natural way then to be rubbing the hands and sending out this healing energy. We give and receive love through the hands, and so it's an, an important way of sending healing energy as well. There is an important part of this uh, aspect of sending the energy, and that regards the medulla oblongata, which is at the back of the head. You can press in here, and you can feel the little hollow at the base of the skull. That's the medulla oblongata. It's also referred to as the mouth of God. I first heard of the medulla oblongata and the mouth of God in a um, pre-med anatomy and physiology class at the University of New Hampshire. And that professor explained that it's the most metaphysical point of the body and that it's also called the mouth of God. And that's likewise, um, years, a year later I learned Yogananda's healing techniques and teachings and realized that that is indeed the most metaphysical point of the body. So you can call in the healing energy. It's already feeding us all the time. There, Yogananda says that there is a huge comet of energy flowing into each and every person at the medulla oblongata. If you could see it, it's most beautiful. Of course, most of us don't see that. But to know that that energy is there and you can call it through you and then send it to others. This is one of Paramahansa Yogananda's shorter healing prayer techniques. You can learn some of our longer and deeper prayer techniques on our website, especially for our Healing Prayer Council. And I will now lead you through this Divine Mother Prayer, but I'll leave the name blank so that you can insert the name of your friend or family member who's in need at this time. Divine Mother, Thou art omnipresent. Thou art in all Thy children. Thou art in... Manifest thy healing presence in his body, mind, and soul. Oh.